Heavenly Father, gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yes, our God is merciful. I will stand my watch and set myself on the rampart and watch to see what he will say to me and what I will answer when I am corrected. If I had said, I will speak thus, behold, I would have been untrue to the generation of your children. How grateful we are for your Holy Spirit and dwelling within, who prompts us not to speak everything that comes to our mind, but to seek the mind of God and speak his heart, so that we will not cause others to stumble, but rather build one another up in love. When I thought how to understand this, it was too painful for me, until I went into the sanctuary of God, then I understood their end. Spending time in your presence and feeding on your word, our point of view is dramatically changed and we can see more clearly the entire situation from your perspective. The entrance of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. O oh, great teacher, you have so much to teach us, and we have so much to learn. Keep leading us to the rock that is higher than I, so we can gain understanding and keep our feet on solid ground. They are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is their shame, who set their mind on earthly things. When he dies, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Surely you set them in slippery places. You cast them down to destruction. Their foot shall slip in due time. The day of their calamity is at hand, and the things to come hasten upon them. The higher they rise, the harder they fall. What a dangerous climb they make when one sets their focus on getting far away from God. Lord, you purpose this dangerous position for the enemies of God alone. May they be awakened to the eternal peril they are in. Oh, how they are brought to desolation, as in a moment, they are utterly consumed with terrors. Their calamity will rise suddenly. As you said to the rich fool, you fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? As a dream when one awakes, so Lord, when you awake, you shall despise their image. Then you will beat back your enemies and put them to everlasting shame. Thus my heart was grieved and I was vexed in my mind. I was so foolish and ignorant. I was like a beast before you. A man who has riches without understanding is like the beasts that perish. Lord, forgive us when our mind wanders from you and entertains such foolish notions is wanting to be like those whose minds and hearts are far from you, and are like beasts who have no sense of eternity. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You hold me by my right hand. You will guide me with your counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Gracious Lord, instruct us and teach us in the way we should go. Guide us with your eye and the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever, amen. For this is God, our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to death. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon earth that I desire besides you. I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. I consider them rubbish that I may gain Christ. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. You are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. O oh Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance in my cup. You maintain my lot. I will love you, O oh Lord, my strength. 
The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. For indeed, those who are far from you shall perish. You have destroyed all those who desert you for harlotry. But it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all your works. Let us draw near to God, and he will draw near to us. We will proclaim with the voice of thanksgiving, and tell of all your wondrous works. Lord, we have loved the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Many, O Lord my God, are your wonderful works which you have done, and your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted to you in order. If we would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. O Most High, how good and gracious you are. We desire more and more and more of you. Take possession of our lives and fill them with the fullness of yourself. Be exalted in the lives of your people, Lord Jesus. Amen.